Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to install Python XY, which is really just the installation, it's the distribution of Python with all sorts of libraries related to scientific computing. Okay, so what we're looking at right here is scipy.org, and this website gives you all sorts of information about the libraries that we use for scientific computing using Python. So there's a number of uh, various libraries such as numpy, matplotlib, sympy, and so on. And so you have a couple options here. If you don't have Python installed at all on your machine, what you can do is just download Python XY, and it installs the Python distribution plus all these libraries plus an IDE called Spider. If you already have Python installed and you don't want to clobber the, the whole thing, what you can do is just add on, you can install these individual libraries. So it's up to you. What we're going to do here is download Python XY and install things from scratch. Okay, so you'll see that right here we have documentation, we have some uh, information on getting started. Let's take a look at this install right here. So in t installing the SciPy stack. So as I mentioned, we have several options. We have Anaconda, which is a free distribution that supports Linux, Windows, and Macs. We have Enthot Canopy, so free and commercial versions that include the SciPy stack, also good on those operating systems. We have Python XY, which is Windows only, and it's based on the Spider IDE. We have WinPython, which is Windows only, and then Pyzo, which is for Linux and Windows. So once again, our option here, we're gonna do Python XY. So let's go to this website right here, and you can see here that we can find under Downloads, the appropriate downloads. So remember that this is only for Windows, and there really is no differentiation between 64 and 32 bits. So you can choose any of these mirrors here that you want to. Uh, as of right now, the latest version is Python XY 2.7.5.0, and this is a .exe file. So your operating system might give you a little warning saying it's a dangerous file, but if it's coming from this website here, from code.google.com, it should be fine. Okay, so um, I already actually downloaded this, and I have it under my downloads directory. And check this out right here, I'm under my downloads directory and here's my Python XY. I'll just go ahead and double click on this to execute it. And we're going to install this for anyone using the computer. And here we wanna check the components that we want to install, uncheck the components we don't want to install. So see how uh, the Python 2.7.5, that's already going to install for us. And you can expand these to see exactly you know, what it's going to be installing here. Um, you'll see here that I'm just gonna go ahead and check this box to install everything. And then under the other category, there's quite a bit of stuff in here as well. I'm just gonna check that just to be comprehensive and then hit next. Okay, so this will install mingw in the following folder. Okay, so mingw right here. See how it's installing Python XY in this location right here. And now I'll hit next. And we'll just wait a minute or two until this completes. Okay, let's verify that this has successfully been installed. I'm going to go to my start menu and there's Spider, and you'll see this window pop open and then in a second, our IDE will open up right here. Okay, this is looking good. Let me size this a little differently so you can see the whole thing. And um, so here's where we can put our Python code. We also have access just to the uh, interpreter so we can you know, do some on the fly stuff. For example, if I wanna say you know, x equals uh, 3.14 and uh, y equals two and let me print my x times y. Okay, so we can do all sorts of uh, operations right in here. So once you've gotten to this point, you know that Spider has been successfully installed. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.